I will arise and go now, and go to Innisfree, and a small cabin built there, of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honey bee, and live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnight's all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore, while I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's grey, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Look, stranger, on this island now, the leaping light for your delight discovers. Stand stable here and silent be, that through the channels of the ear may wander like a river the swaying sound of the sea. Here at a small field's ending pause, where the chalk wall falls to the foam and its tall ledges oppose the pluck and knock of the tide and the shingle scrambles after the sucking surf and a gull lodges a moment on its sheer side. Far off, like floating seeds, the ships diverge on urgent voluntary errands, and this full view indeed may enter and move in memory, as now these clouds do that pass the harbour mirror and all the summer through the water saunter. is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, as well as if a manner of thy friends or of thy own were. Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind and therefore Never send to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee.